Now on to a segment where my good friend Eddie is an expert, music. Eddie, I honestly envy your job because you get to go to these amazing concerts, interact with these amazing rock stars, meet these amazing people and enjoy good music. You know what I like about this? Yeah. They are saying a lot of enthusiasm. But it's true, man. <laughs> it's amazing, you know? Who's your favorite African music artist? Salif Keita. Whoa. And Lira. I have a crush on Lira. She's coming to Kenya, by the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very soon. <laughs> you better ask me for tickets. <laughs> I will. Trust me, I will. Honestly, I enjoy every bit of my job. And that is what I'm hoping to learn about more as we go along. Let's get right into it. The beat, dance, and lyrics. Elements that make Africa's music unique. The music in African culture is so easily accessible. When somebody's born, we sing. When somebody dies, we sing. When somebody is unwell, we're singing. If you can't go to an African village anywhere, um, at least in my experience, I not find people singing. In recent years, music events have become booming business in Nairobi, Kenya's capital. A 2016 report by Price Waterhouse Coopers reported that the music industry in Kenya made 1.8 billion US dollars and is expected to grow to 3.4 billion dollars in the next four years. G-Money is one of Kenya's top radio presenters, as well as being a DJ and event organizer. You know, my speciality is, is dancehall and reggae, and I know that when I started doing events here, I tried to bring the guys who were hot. Um, we brought Chris when he was hot, we brought Elaine when she was hot, sometimes even before they were hot. We brought Conscience before he was hot. So for us guys, it's always been about being a bit more visionary. An increase in Kenya's middle class has meant more liquid cash to be spent making merry and having a good time. I want to see you. With DJs spinning the deck and making money, live bands wowing crowds with sensational music, and rappers spitting lyrics like it's their last night. Just having fun. I have some people with me, so we're just going to eat some good food and have some nice drinks and just enjoy ourselves. Corporates are equally biting into this vibe. Companies like real estate powerhouse PRC organize an annual concert, Dab the Plot. So far, they have flown in international heavyweights like Cisco, Maya, One twelve to the Kenyan audience. So the connection between us selling plots or land and the concert is that we really wanted a place or an event that people can come, one have a good time, interact with our brand, and they can find out um, about what products we have, and also through this process have good fun and still invest. From the dance floor to the sofa set, the vibrant music scene is reaching all. Who inspired you to do music? TV shows like Upbeat have had the chance to showcase African artists who are entertaining the continent. <laughs> because I, I did everything my father asked me to do. However, it's not all rosy for the African music scene. A lot still needs to be done before most of our music can become international treasures. African music has always been appreciated, but now it's getting to the commercial level. Um, the only thing I say, and I've said this from day one, that hampers um, African music and it's, and it's blown up, is the lack of structure. There are few lessons to learn from the experts. It's, these are complex things, but the first thing I'll add to this is Nigeria has an 80-20 quota rule in Nigeria. In other words, you cannot play more than 20% foreign anything. 
in Nigeria. So that has allowed the Nigerian industry to grow very large. But whether we are world-class, commercial or not, we in Africa have and always will find a reason to proudly shake a leg and move to our own beat. Woo!